Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen. And today with a really interesting mini display. This is a WiMAX it 8 inches with a IPS panel, which is probably the best that this display has to offer. And I was surprised at the quality that it has once I did plug it in and connect it. Now, one thing that you might want to check out as well is BNH software where we can find Windows 10 or 11 Home Edition or Pro Edition license keys at a budget. It's a platform that we have been using for the past few months. So if you are looking for a budget key to activate your Windows or even Office 2021, it has been a great experience and I will leave a link down below. Now regarding this WiMAX, it, it's really interesting, especially if you are looking for something strong, robust, because the build quality is great. It's all a metallic enclosure at the back it has the buttons here on the top so that we can scroll through the menu which i will show in just a few moments and it also has connections here at the back it has a vga hdmi rca usb and coaxial in terms of the image uh, quality it is uh, 720p so 1280 by 720 which is really good for this size of display and it has an IPS panel which is great in terms of color reproduction and the colors that I can show you on camera because it's always unfair with displays but you can get an idea that the color reproduction is great even on angles that are a bit more aggressive we can have a really good image quality and I'm looking at it at this moment one of the things that it's really interesting as well is being glossy what happens is that uh, it will give another boost to the colors and a really great and as you can see the lenses do not help but this is one of the things that I really enjoy actually for this size this is the best display that I've used so far and not only the build quality but the image quality right over here because it has an IPS panel now on the back besides the connectivity and the buttons we also have a detachable uh, arm right over here which is mounted right now and we have the option to mount it on the wall by a visa mount here at the back which is a 75 by 75. It also has built-in audio. And if you ask me, hey Robert, is it great? Nah, it's not great like any other display, but it will be enough if you are using for a CCTV monitoring system and you need to hear uh, alarm sounds and things like that, it's more than enough. I did play around with YouTube and it was okay. In terms of target, this will be very useful uh, for all case scenarios. You can connect to a, a laptop that I've got right over here. I would say that probably it's not the best scenario. We have seen quite a few displays for this um, mobility and so on and so forth that don't need even power, just USB. And in a few days, I will share another solution that actually from we max it but i would say for a cctv system this is perfect or if we want to connect a mini computer for home assistant that we have done here a lot or if we want to connect a raspberry pi then these are all scenarios that are great we don't need big displays we just need a small display like this one right over here but at the same time we want good build quality that it can resist to a fall or something like that and at the same time a great image quality so i would say that this is the target now, in terms of conclusion, at this size, 8 inches, even 12, 10 inches, this is the best mini display that I've used so far. Having in mind that I'm not talking about the portable displays that we use with this kind of laptop, I'm talking about displays targeted at Raspberry Pis and so on and so forth. This is the best so far because it has a great panel right over here with a great resolution for the size. So if you're looking for Good build quality, great image quality, which I can show you once again right over there with this glossy panel, which looks amazing. This will be a great addition to your setup. Once again, in my opinion, the way that I see it for a CCTV system, mini computer, Raspberry Pi is just the perfect fit. That being said, hope that the video was helpful in some way. Of course, I will leave a link down below right near the thumbs up that you can just press there and I will be really appreciated. My name is Roberto George and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.